the other side is Roll Call Free. <laughs> Hello again, everybody. Uh, had an emergency service get called in a couple days ago. Uh, a sinkhole had appeared in a subdivision around the catch basin. So we actually ran out. We have trench plates that our company runs. And uh, we came out and plated this late one evening and uh, to safeguard their liabilities. Now we're back pulling plates to diagnose what's going on. So let me. Uh, Turn you around and show you what we found. Got Cody out here, the most important tool on the job. Got our camera and location gear, but look at this. Got two inches of rain yesterday, which kind of kind of exacerbated the situation. But uh, that's a pretty good size. That's a pretty good size sinkhole. Now, when you have sinkholes like this up here, the uh, the void that you're seeing down there, the lack of sub base, the actual hole, all that material doesn't just uh, evaporate. It all goes down into the storm system. So let me show you that. There's a big culvert, completely full of all that sub base. They almost have 100% blockage out here today. You know, a big part of this community is tied tied to this system. So we're going to get our camera gear out, we're going to document our findings, evaluate this vault, see where the material's coming in at, and then we're probably going to recommend that they get a priority service to get one of our vac units out here to clean that storm uh, culvert out. jackhammer work and uh, some unexpected concrete under the asphalt for whatever reason um, they must have been burning up a truck or something that they didn't need we have unearthed a very large uh, non-formed catch basin let me show you so the collar normally these go straight down actually they're smaller than the collar this one on the other hand is not it has got sections of it that's about three feet thick. So we're gonna have to bring in different rigging equipment and we're actually gonna have to lift this out of here. Um, it's 
going to be a little bit tricky, but it's nothing that I haven't done before. So, yeah. Well, we, uh, we got the meteor out of the hole. This is the empty hole courtesy of some good rigging by Cody. Woo, hey, that's a hole. Look at the size of this thing. It's got to be three feet, three feet thick in places. They poured all that concrete and they had such a terrible fit up on the culvert. The uh, forms and everything blew out. All the concrete went into the underground culverts and then left big voids for it to suck into. So I didn't get any removal videos because I wanted to be completely focused on what I was doing. But uh, yeah, we'll take the hydro back, clean that up down in there, and then we will start forming it up. You want to <laughs> you want to see what a wind looks like in the land of underground pipe cleaning? You got that flashlight? Oh, it's in here. Check this out. Only took us five hours to get that thing loose. Ew. Man. Alrighty, let's see what we got in here. Yeah. <laughs> Is your spud bar in the way? No. Man, that thing's huge. Out with the old, in with the new. Uh, there she blows. We just poured the support collar, 4,000 PSI, fiber air, mixed stone, and is there anything else in there? I don't think there's anything else in the mix. And then you can't see it here, but there's rebar actually doweled in to the side of the vault so that this portion of the Pour and this portion of the pour are tied together. Um, all in all, very happy with how this turned out. Uh, it's always kind of cool to come in and tear out something that wasn't done correctly and fix it back 100%. Pretty, pretty cool process. So, uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. I enjoyed the process, and uh, yeah. Catch you on the flip side. <laughs> That's a big fella. Oh, it'll slide. Gravity will make sure of that. Man, what a monster. <laughs> All right. Good job, James.